Hello and thanks for watching the Cardboard Dungeon. My name is Pat and this is our very first Star Wars Legion video. Now I don't have my core set yet. It is still being shipped to me but I did pick up a couple of expansions uh, earlier today and we're gonna start there. So we are looking at the 74Z speeder bikes expansion. You get two speeder bikes with this. Now if you're not familiar with Legion yet uh, what this is is a tabletop miniatures game along the lines of something like Warhammer or War Machine. These are assembly required miniatures, which is something a little bit different for Fantasy Flight. Uh, they are not pushed together miniatures uh, like we've seen before uh, from them or from the recent uh, Games Workshop uh, titles like uh, Shadespire. These do require glue, so you will need a good quality super glue and a steady hand because there are some pretty small parts and some pretty tiny attach points on some of these miniatures. Uh, so just bear that in mind. They're not difficult to put together, uh, but there is that uh, level of assembly you may not be uh, quite prepared for if you haven't done tabletop gaming before. And look at the models real quick. I will say I do like these Legion uh, miniatures. They're very nicely detailed. They're a step up from Imperial Assault, also from Fantasy Flight Games. Uh, very good detail. They are bigger miniatures than we've seen before, I think, from the company in a lot of their games. I never saw Rune War stuff, so I don't know how they compare to that, but I heard Rune War was very good. Uh, okay, so we're going to jump right in here. We're going to look at the unit card here, and the way I'm going to do this for these videos is I'm going to start in the uh, along the top of the card, then we're going to go down the left side, along the bottom, and up the right-hand side, talking about all the information that you need to know about the unit. There's a lot of stuff on these cards. And we will end with the uh, keywords in the middle. So starting in the top left-hand corner, it's an Imperial unit, of course, costing 90 points to put in your squad. A Legion, of course, is an 800-point standard game. So 90 points is going to take up almost one-eighth of your army build, but not a whole lot for these two speeder bikes that fly together. Below that, we can see that this unit can take one comms upgrade. And then at the bottom, uh, they do have two different weapons. The first is the EC-17 Holdout Blaster. That is the pistol that the pilots carry themselves. It's got a range of one to two and rolls two black dice, so really not shabby at all for a little handheld pistol. Then the speeder brakes weapon itself, the AX-20 Blaster Cannon, range of one to three, rolls one of each color dice. So if both these guys are still alive, you're gonna roll two of each color dice. And that attack is fixed to your front arc, so the targets have to be within the front arc of the speeder bike. And it does have impact one on each bike that's attacking. That means that if you're attacking an enemy that has armor, you can turn one of your regular hits to a critical hit. And again, that is for each speeder bike participating in the attack. So if you have both of them still alive, you'll be able to convert two hits into two critical hits. Above that, the three red bars means that speeder bikes move at speed three, the highest speed we've seen in the game so far, maybe forever. Who knows? The game just came out. Above that, we can see that speeder bikes can convert a attack surge into a regular hit and a defense surge into a block. So nice surge conversion for this unit. Above that, they roll a white die for defense, which is the worst defense die, but at least they have something and they can convert those surges as we saw. Each speeder bike has a health of three, and then they have no resilience rating, which for vehicles in this game, that means that uh, uh, if it does have a number there, once it takes that many wounds, it's got a chance of uh, becoming damaged in some way, losing a weapon or having its mobility hit. Speeder bikes, though, with such low health, uh, they're not really going to get damaged. They're just going to get destroyed. And then above that, we can see that these are repulsor vehicles. That means that they are flying. It means that they can fly over certain obstacles. There are two of them in the unit, as I've said, and they're a support unit. And then in the middle of the card, they have cover one, which means that uh, basically they get to ignore... If they're not in cover, they're going to ignore one hit against them, one normal hit. This doesn't do anything against crits. And then they have speeder one, which means that uh, when they get activated, 
uh, they're going to perform a compulsory move. So they have to move their full speed of three before they take their two actions for their activation. So, all right, let's move right along into the upgrade cards in this expansion. There's not many of them, only two, in fact. Uh, the first one is Comms Jammer. There's two copies in this expansion. They cost 15 points. It's a comms expansion. It says, enemy units at range one cannot be issued orders unless they are issuing an order to themselves. So you can jam up your opponent's strategy a little bit by flying your speeder bikes near an enemy unit. Won't be able to give that unit orders. However, of course, speeder bikes with that compulsory move, they're not going to be able to stay at range one of any particular enemy unit for very long. And then the other upgrade in this expansion is the long range comm link, costing 10 points. It is, of course, a comms upgrade, the only upgrade this unit can take. It says, during the command phase, you may be issued orders as though you are in range of the nominated commander. So that's a good thing for speeder bikes, it seems like, since they're often going to be pretty far away from their commander, at least for part of the battle. They can still be issued orders even if they get outside of the command range. All right, and that is the speeder bike expansion for Star Wars Legion. Uh, being as this is my first Legion video of... Uh, hopefully many. I would love to see feedback or what you like, what you don't like about this video in the comments below. If you like it, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more Star Wars Legion content out of us. And thank you for watching the Cardboard Dungeon. I'll see you next time.